Is it March yet? I'm tired of the snow. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to um, explain um, and talk to you guys about what sinking funds are. So uh, Dave Ramsey and probably other people most likely um, talk about sinking funds and have sinking funds for things that um, they may not need from month to month. So you have your budget and your sinking, or I'm sorry, your cash envelopes that are like your groceries, your gas, things you use on a monthly basement, maybe maybe clothing, um, depending on who you are and makeup and whatnot. Um, but sinking funds are kind of the things that you know you will need to prepare for. Um, however, you don't either have a definitive amount set aside, you don't have a timeline. Um, so things like that would be like car maintenance. You know eventually your car is going to run into some kind of problem or you need to replace your car. However, um, you don't know when that will happen, but you want to be prepared. Um, whereas other things like your car registration, um, you know when that will run out and about how much that will be. So it's important to be proactive in saving for those things that could break your budget if you don't prepare. Um, so for me, um, I look at it two different ways. If you have the extra disposable income um, to basically, um, let's say your car registration is going to be 150 bucks. Um, or 120 bucks. So let's say your car registration is going to be 120 bucks. Um, you know that you have 12 months to get ready for this. So you can put away 10 bucks a month or five bucks a paycheck, depending on when you get paid and, and what works best for you. Um, and then that way, when the time comes, you have the money in your account and you don't have to stress about trying to figure out where the 120 is going to come out of that month's budget. Um, my income is kind of weird because. I pretty much make just as much as I need to to survive and basically pay all my debts. I don't have a lot of disposable income usually unless um, I get a bonus from work or tax refund season, stuff like that. Um, so you can either put it, put aside the amount of money you know you will need or just put away something. Um, so for me, I probably will only be putting about five bucks a month, a, pay a paycheck, I haven't decided yet um, exactly how I'm going to do that. Um, you'll see that in my February um, budget that will be coming up shortly um, on how exactly I'm going to go about doing that. Um, but I do have some of the funds that I know that I will need um, or that I want. Um, so the first one is car maintenance. Um, I have a 2014 car and I don't have to pay for oil changes, which is really nice. Um, I may have gotten scammed with that, I'm not sure, um, but basically I pay an extra 12 bucks or something like that a month um, for my car and I get unlimited oil changes for the lifetime of the car, even when it's paid off. So if I have that car for five years, um, that's totally worth it. Um, so I do still want a car maintenance fund um, so that I can... Make sure if anything does happen, I don't have to put it on my Les Schwab account, um, which is paid off now, finally. Um, and I don't have to put it, you know, find a credit card or find another way to finance um, a problem. That's also what your emergency fund is for, but the, the less you can use your emergency fund, the better it's going to be for you. So I have car maintenance fund, medical fund. I didn't go to the doctor all last year, um, but I do have problems such as ulcers and kidney stones and I've had six surgeries in the past. So um, it's important to make sure you're gonna be proactive. If there's something really wrong, you do need to go see a doctor. I've just been trying not to. Um, I am moving in June and July. Our roommates and I are moving hopefully to a house together. We're not quite sure what's going to happen, so I want to be prepared for that. So I'll probably put more than $5 in that one, obviously because it's coming up sooner. Car registration, I think mine's going to be about 100 bucks. I have to go check what it was last year, and I think I got it done um, in June or July of last year, so I'm going to have to figure out exactly how much I need between now and then so I can make sure it's fully funded by the time um, it rolls around. 
Christmas, um, a lot of people will put, you know, 10, 50 bucks in a Christmas fund. So that way at the end of the year, you're not scrambling for money as well. I didn't do that last year. So unfortunately I did put some of it on credit cards. And so I want to make sure that that doesn't happen again. So I'm going to have a gift slash Christmas fund. Um, I have one um, specifically for my sister's graduation because I know I'm going to need to pay for that plane ticket soon. I have one for my half marathons and my races because they can be between $25 and $75 per race and I like to do about one a month. I like to do it when um, the registration is the lowest though. I always do like the early bird or if there's like a one day special where it's $25, like that's when I like to get in on it obviously because I like saving money. Um, I have another one for concerts because I know there's at least two concerts that I want to go to. I'm going to try to win free tickets for them, but eh, we'll see how that goes. And I think that's everything that I have specifically for my sinking funds. Yours will be a little bit more specific to your life, but um, it's important to plan ahead for the future and not just use your emergency fund every time something comes up because what... If you use it for something and then you really do need, you know, your car breaks down, you need like $800, then what? Like, what are you going to do? So it's important to have sinking funds. So you'll want to make sure to start those as soon as you can. And either you can put the amount you actually do need per month, or even if you're just saving something towards them. And then that way, if, you know, if my car registration is 100 bucks and I have 50 then... I only have to worry about the $50 that month instead of the whole $100 and it's really um, to your benefit uh, to plan those things out. So I just wanted to kind of talk to you about sinking funds and how important they are and the ones I'll be doing um, and like I said you'll see um, exactly how I'm going to do those in uh, my February budget plan video. So thank you guys, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.